Hi Taurus, welcome to your uh, mid-month reading. As always, keep in mind that this is only a general reading. Always take what it feels right and with what does resonate within your own life experiences during this time. If you would like to have a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below. For the month of December, as usual, I have two special sales offer available and for this month, one is called A Gift from the Universe, and it, it's a reading that guides us through an understanding of what kind of positive news, um, blessings, and gifts are coming our way during this holiday season. And the other one is called Chapter 21, and it's a year ahead guidance uh, that focuses on what kind of uh, major themes, experiences, opportunities, and challenges might be presented for um, next year chapter uh, in your case. So if you'd like to know more details about those special offers or any other of my services again just email me or if you'd like to donate and support my channel you can do so by following the paypal link which is also down below so taurus there's something here about the power of imagination um that could be extremely important for some of you for some reason during this time I feel like your the the imagination and all of its um, creative realm. It's something that might be super fascinating for some of you during this time, but for others it can also be very um, disturbing because I feel like at a worse at at, at, um, at a worse yes this energy could manifest for some of you as not knowing what's real and what it's not, perhaps feeling a little bit paranoid, perhaps feeling suspicious all the time, or feeling fearful all the time, or feeling like something is, and in reality it's, in a, you know, it's totally different. So, be aware that some of you are under an influence, that it's tricky, because you can reap from it benefits, especially, um, for Taurus that are in creative fields. So you can really channel, you know, amazing, outstanding, um, beautiful art pieces here. Um, you can have amazing insights, amazing um, ideas. There are going to, you know, uh, ahead to be developed into something concrete. So I feel like there's something about from now up until the next three months, uh, there is a process of developing um, ideas that will bring you a lot of results. Some of you, Taurus, um, might just need to watch the quality of people you are trusting your work with. So if uh, it's something that it's really, you know, important for you and something that is really um like something that is really unique because I feel it could be. Um, be aware of, you know, someone stealing your ideas or using, you know, your ideas in the wrong way. I feel that for tours that have been wanting to get out of a certain creative stagnation, you're about to but the moon is in a challenging position so you might be feeling super sensitive during this time you might be feeling uh anxious you might be feeling like you can't rest properly you might be having weird dreams that makes make it makes it very difficult for you to again kind of you know when we have a dream about someone or about something and when, when we wake up, we get confused. Okay, was this a message? Does this have a meaning or this is this was just a dream, you know? And you don't know if, if it's like a, something more like a premonition kind of dream or a warning or if it was just, you know, uh, workings of your subconscious. Um, so there's something here about you struggling with your own psychic energy it's like your psych your psychic gifts are very active but 
with the devil here, they're not coming out right. It could be because some of you are afraid of your own gifts, especially for some of you, Taurus, that this is like a new thing, a new discovery. You might be feeling like you're really out of your element, really out of your, you know, usual self. And that scares you, that alone scares you, or you could just not like the sensations that you're receiving. Some of you are moving through the dark night of the soul, and as a part of that process, some of you are having again this um, this 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 increase of awareness of your gifts, you know, your senses, your six senses. So some of you is like you're disliking this, you don't want this. Like, why is this happening to me? I feel like there's a lot of uh, for some of you, there's a lot of refusal in, you know, being this different person or this person that believes in certain things that have to deal more with the occult. Um, I feel that there's a group of Taurus here that is that are both fascinated by the occult, but also very intimidated. So, and uh, you might want to keep this as a secret. Some of you, you know, your secret and our, your, your, your psychic powers are a secret. You might not want to tell anyone about, you know, the experiences you're having. For some, it could also be that, but pay attention that this is a minor, uh, group of you Taurus some of you could be uh, under something uh, an influence that we call psychic attacks all right so I want some of you or I, I will advise some of you to just protect your energy during this time and you're protecting your energy even of your own self even of your own mind even of your own you know um desire to control something here that is flowing that is in a process of flowing and coming to you you should remain uh receptive but protected it's like um it's not about shutting down whatever it is that your inner voice is telling you it's not about shutting down opportunities it's not about shutting down relationships but because you can't feel and see clearly, correctly right now, it's better to wait before you give yourself um, totally to something in which you only see like a partial truth. There's also something here about you only see a something or someone, you know, uh, partially. So there's you only see a part of it. Um, you must wait for the sun energy to come to really know what you're dealing with. Especially if he comes here, uh, if there's an opportunity for you to collab in, in a project that's really interesting or to go into this new work opportunity or do something with your money that would hopefully open doors for even more abundance, but that it might involve other people or other people's money. If possible, don't give your answer yet. Don't give your money yet. Because again, the moon also speaks about deception and it speaks about things that are hidden from us. So I see a lot, lots of possibilities here. I see like there's a group of Taurus that might be dealing with shady influences and people in the workplace. So if you don't feel like in the workplace or, you know, in um in college, in school, there's something here about an environment that could be work or, again, if you're studying, it could be your school. There's just something here about you not trusting the vibes you're getting from um, a particular environment and yes there might be shady people here in your work indeed it could also be that um for some of you uh it's like you know 
if you're tempted to start a relationship that right now mixes both pleasure you know and money like there's something here about either you're meeting someone that you work with or you know like you're having an affair here with someone you work with or someone that you work with or study with um is really interested in you but it might be in a more sexual way or there might be something about this person the devil and the moon that it's you know that you don't know and you should so it's like trust with care there's a lot of um though it's like this this very sexual charge energy so some of you could be having you know sexual encounters and uh, another thing is that you could be absorbing you know a lot of energy from sex and that is where kind of the negative negativity that I, i'm sorry negativity that i was speaking about you know can be coming from as well especially if you are dealing with someone that is not in a very good you know in a very good um state so even if you're married and this is your partner it's like uh, or in a serious relationship it could be just that if your partner is not well um energetically this can be a period of time where sexually it's like you're absorbing their um this person's energy and it's a mess um it turns out to be a little bit messy here uh this is an energy that speaks you uh that speaks to definitely protect yourself emotionally you know and sexually as well like there's just something here about maybe you know having unsafe sex or um being at risk to catching here on a on, you know a a certain sexual transmitted disease or someone could be using again sex or money to drain something out of you just be aware of that it could also be that this is a situation of an ex that is really really obsessing here actually that could be a mutual thing but i feel like your obsession might mirror theirs you know it's like um there might be someone that it's obsessing so much with you that they're sending this psychic you know attack because emotionally they're flooding you with a very um dark energy obscure energy and you're mirroring behaviors of this person and if you feel like you don't know why you're doing certain things in particular why you're so uh about to do something like you shouldn't it could be because of that, because there's this mirroring, uh, energetically speaking. You know, the power of intention is really, really, really strong, even if they're not doing anything um, like spell work and this type of things. It's just like you are in a moment with the moon here that you're feeling things, you're extra, you know, psychic, as I said. So when someone is thinking about you the wrong way when someone is throwing you know shade your way it's going to have an impact on your energy so trust really the vibes you're getting but also what the problem with this is that then you can get to 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 move into this spiral of irrational fear and paranoia that can be tricky so that's why I said trust with care, trust with reason, trust with proofs, you know, make this trust be earned, especially if you're dealing with someone new that you just, you know, meet recently or are about to meet and there's this incredible attraction, it can even really felt like a fa fatal attraction, but you know, you don't know this person. So if you don't know this person, don't give away fully your trust and protect your energy. Um, I also feel like it could be that this is a time where you're advised to just try to clear your own energy with um, purifying, you know, 
I'm sorry, purif purif purification rituals or techniques, you know, um, meditations that focus on the theme of protection, uh, crystals, uh, you know, that are grounding and have that um, that protective um, vibe about them also good, you know. Just do things. Do things that um, can, you know, expand this protection field that I feel some of you are really needing. And I also feel like there's import it's important for some of you to be in this purification um, to make sense of how you feel. If it's something, especially if this is about, again, a uh, person. You might be confusing love with obsession or with lust, you know, and you need to sort out deep down what it is that you truly feel about someone so that then you can move ahead with a concrete awareness of what you're getting yourself into because I keep getting like, you're so <sighs> attracted by something that you're not questioning it. And that could be particularly uh, dangerous for some of you. So I hope you have a great mid-month. Uh, I want to thank all of you that have been liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, and donating to my channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And please keep doing so. I want to wish all of you happy, happy holidays. Hopefully, we'll see each other soon.